So I want to start this video out by thanking D'Angelo Wallace because D'Angelo gave me courage, all right? See, back on June 11th, I said this. I was watching the new Spill video and Spill, oh, mwah, best tea channel out there. Like the, the research and everything that goes into that. I have, a, I have a theory about who's behind the Spill channel. I might make a video on that. If you want me to talk about my theory, let me know in the comments below, because I have one. But then I received this comment. Keep your opinions about Spill's real identity to yourself. Baseless speculation is not entertaining. And, and if you are accurate, you will either dox her or say things that lead others to dox her by themselves. And if that happens, I will personally make sure you go down in Adpocalypse 3.0 test me and i was like dang but d'angelo wallace came out with his video about how spill is not a real person and it gave me the courage to speak my truth as well but something else we're going to address in this video is there's something that d'angelo missed that he might not have been aware of and i'm going to discuss that in this video What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And Two quick things, if you're into YouTube culture and wanna learn more about what goes on behind the scenes and some analysis of the community, my brand new book, Cancelled, is out now. There is a free version of that book at my website down in the description below, and it's free until the end of the month. Or you can get the audio book and there's another ebook version. All right, the second thing is, D'Angelo Wallace, I'm so glad to see this dude blowing up. Like, I think when I first, subscribed to his channel, he was at like 50 or 60,000. Now he's at like 160,000. He's hilarious and I, I think I first found him when he did his critique of Shane Dawson a while back, but anyways, go check his channel out. He just did a video about Spill that's very in depth. I'm gonna touch on a couple things that he talked about, but make sure you go check out his video. It's gonna be linked down below as well and go subscribe to his channel, all right? So anyways, get comfy relax, maybe sip a little tea. This is going to be a story time. All right, I'm not sure at the time of recording this how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna share my story about this situation. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is as somebody who's constantly working on my mental health, self-awareness is a huge thing, all right? And I am a flawed person, although I am miles away, from where I was seven years ago when I was a drug addict who was suicidal and struggling with depression and anxiety. Like, I'm so far away from who I used to be, but I still have things that have been rooted in me since I was a kid that I still work on. I actually have a therapy appointment right after I record this video. But a couple things about me, I'm competitive, which isn't always a bad thing, but I can also get this kind of hater mentality. Like when I was a kid, um, growing up, you know, in an alcoholic household and everything like that, I used to just hate on other people who had better families and better experiences than I did. Um, I always looked at other people like they had an easier path than me. You might be able to relate to this, right? So this is something that still kind of flares up in my mind. And last year when the channel Spill started exploding, I started to see those feelings come up, right? Because Spill was this brand new channel and just exploding on YouTube. So something I try to do on this channel because my videos are about helping you kind of identify some things and see what you might need to work on as well and we're on this journey together. So when I notice these feelings popping up about Spill, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about this because my brain goes to a weird place and it can make up all these stories. So when I saw Spill's success, I'm like, I'm like, this is, this is crazy. Like. Some of the things that D'Angelo Wallace talked about, I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. She's a college student, she animates this, like he mentioned, she has captions on all of her videos, and they're so well researched, right? And the frequency at which she posted these, I'm like, there's no way, there's no way, right? And I look at it, and something else I get upset with, a lot of YouTube creators do, is the YouTube algorithm. So I saw that she was just 
exploding with these videos on similar topics that I was doing and my videos weren't getting that many views. What's funny is, in hindsight, like my videos were actually getting very good views back then compared to what they're getting now. But anyways, so I looked at that and my girlfriend, it's funny because some people who obviously don't know my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, like think that she doesn't keep me in check. Like whenever I whine and complain to her, like she calls me out on it. She calls me out on that stuff. So I would whine and complain about Spill and she called me out on it and it helped me become self-aware and recognize, oh, okay, Chris, this is those flawed characteristics of yourself coming out, right? You wanna be the best. You wanna, you know, have, you know, the ability to, you know, have the same opportunity as channels like Spill. So I made a video back in November of last year and I titled it, Why I Hate Spill, okay? And <laughs> there were so many people like who didn't watch the video and see like what the overall message was. Um, Cause I did my little, uh, you know, clickbait, bait and switch, right? So I shared kind of what I just shared with you talking about how, you know, I, I watch, you know, her videos blow up, how her channel's blowing up on the same topics that I'm doing and everything like that. And, but the, the moral of that video was identifying my own jealousy, my own envy, right but a lot of people didn't wait that long so i got a bunch of comments i still get comments to this day one of the biggest one is she has a soothing voice and you're loud and you scream at us sorry that's just the way my voice is <laughs> but um yeah a bunch of people say you're just jealous of her i'm like yeah you gotta watch the video but anyways the video like i identified those things and something like i try to teach people something that i learned is someone else's happiness or success doesn't take away from mine all right, happiness is an abundant resource, all right? So just realize that somebody being happy over there or successful over there is not necessarily taking away from yours. And these are some things that I talked about in that video. But something that D'Angelo Wallace didn't talk about, but I got a lot of comments about, was that Spill had ads, all right? And ads, they're not, they're, they're cheap, but they're not cheap. Um, but people were saying like, I found out about Spill because she has ads here on YouTube. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, hmm, right? So I just kept my dumb mouth shut because at that time I had a couple theories, all right? One of them, I tried to be realistic and be like, all right, Spill is just some kid in college and maybe she has a rich family you know i was thinking maybe she has a rich family and there's a lot of youtubers out there who have editors and things like that i'm like because there's no way she could do all this work all this research and do everything herself right so i was like maybe she has the money to pay editors um to pay animators to pay researchers have her own little t uh team right i can imagine some like rich harvard student being able to do this like daddy i'm really into tea can you help me make a channel right he's like here you go kid so that's what i was thinking was happening and in order to grow the channel maybe this person like asked their parents to pay for advertising and all that but the other theory i had is what D'Angelo Wallace is talking about and a lot of people are talking about now. I was like, you know what? Maybe this isn't even really a person, you know? Like maybe it's not because like, there, trust me, there's plenty of us who take YouTube seriously. Um, for some of us, it's a full-time gig and everything like that. But I was like, huh. So I started doing some research and like D'Angelo did, I started checking out Spill's social media and it was lacking. So like a lot of creators who get big on this platform, we engage with all of you, right? Whether it's in our comment sections, on Twitter, on Instagram, whatever it is. But like D'Angelo pointed out, Spill pretty much only uses social media to promote her videos. And I was like, huh, that's strange. I was like, but even if this was a company who's doing this, you would think they would have somebody managing the social media like hell like fast food chains have people managing their social media and like personifying the company right so i was like maybe spill does that too but the more i looked into it and the more spill started making these like longer videos and even more in-depth videos and was able to keep up with that pace then i was like this has got to be a company right because here's the thing um I I was making a lot more content than your average creator. I don't edit nearly as much, but 
as many of you know, who are viewers of YouTubers like I am, it's a struggle for some of your favorite YouTubers to get out a video a week, right? And I love people like, you know, like Leon Lush and Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden and Elvis the Alien, so many other people, right? And you see the editing that goes into their videos and I think about how much time they spend. And I'm friends with a lot of YouTubers and my editing is very minimal, very, very minimal. So when I talk to them, like some of my friends are like spending eight, 20 hours on these videos, but then I see Spill coming out with these videos that are upwards of an hour long, not only edited even more, but the research that goes into them and the animation and the captions. And it's this kind of leg up, right? So I was like, there's no way, but to give you, to get you into my mindset, I actually talked to a few people. Like I have some friends, I have some mentors, and I've told them this theory that Spill is actually a company for months now, right? And right when I was like, I really wanted to make a video about it, it was around March, right when the internet kinda hated me, and I was like, okay, Chris, you made a video titled Why You Hate Spill, a bunch of people are saying you're jealous of her, so if you make that video, <laughs> this isn't gonna look good for you, right? And then D'Angelo Wallace came out with this video, and I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I was like, dang it, D'Angelo. I think I even left a comment on this video. I'm like, ah, I wanted to make this video. But um, but yeah, I was just kind of sitting here, I was like, ah, well, there's a, a couple things out that he might not have seen that I saw, so I was like, I'll, I'll jump in here as well. But anyways, at the end of the day, here's the question. Like, does it matter? How much does it matter? Um, I've talked about this in the past. A lot of YouTubers are very upset that corporations are kind of coming into our realm here. Um, you know, like, you know, you have like Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Fallon, you have people, celebrities like uh, Will Smith, uh, Jack Black. You have these people who have you know, uh, more money than us, the ability to have better production quality, the ability to hire people and pay people to do these things. And a lot of YouTubers don't like it. In my personal opinion, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> something I realized a long time ago, which I think everybody realizes is, people can subscribe to more than one channel. And when we look at Spill specifically, Spill's videos are not taking away from any other T channel, drama channel, whatever you wanna call them. She's not taking views away from them for a few reasons, all right? The other T channels, the other people who are doing this kind of like independently, they're able to do it quicker, all right? Um, sometimes, you know, it's not as much you know, research because they're jumping on the story because a lot of us who do commentary or cover trending topics, we, we jump on it. Right, So they're able to crank out videos faster than Spill, but because a lot of them do daily or multiple times a week, they update those stories and make multiple videos, which accumulates views. You see what I mean? By the time Spill releases a video, because some of her videos are multiple part series, like um, her Jaclyn Hill ones were multiple parts, her one about Trisha Paytas and Nick Accato Avocado were multiple parts. So by the time Spill gets their video up, even if it's a team of people, the other drama channels, the other T channels, whatever it is, even commentary channels, they've already covered those topics maybe two, three, four, five times by the time Spill gets a video up. So I would guarantee if you can look at the audiences, there's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of people who are subscribed to Spill, subscribe to a lot of other channels. So like as a YouTube creator, I'm just saying like, I'm not gonna complain about the inevitable. You know what I mean? It's almost like, the mom and pop shops in your city and then a Walmart opens up and things like that. It's like, there's still gonna people be people who shop at the mom and pop shop, but they're not even spending money when they're watching YouTube videos. It's just time that they're spending. So it's more likely that people are gonna watch multiple videos. If you wanna do me a favor, down in the comments below, when any, when any topic comes up in the YouTube community, how many videos would you say on average you watch about the same topic. I've talked about this before, but my guess is that every one of the viewers out there, when there's a trending topic, you watch at least, I would guess, four to five videos on that topic. Or let me know if I'm completely wrong. Let me know down in the comments if there's only like one creator who you follow, who you watch to cover a story. But I don't think that's the case 
in most cases. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Again, make sure you go subscribe to D'Angelo Wallace. He is an awesome, hilarious dude. And check out his video that he did about this topic. And again, if you would like, check out my book, Cancelled, Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. It is available now, and you can get a free version of the ebook until the end of the month, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who bought my book, bought my audio books and things like that. Also, make sure you're following me on social media because I have some very exciting news coming out probably later today. All right, so it's at The Rewired Soul on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.